Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're out here at Cool Ray Field for the HBCU Classic, uh, hosted by the Atlanta Braves. We are speaking with Florida A&M FAMU head baseball coach. Let us know your name and give us a little bit of your background in baseball. Yeah, my name is Jamie Shoup. Uh, this is my eighth year at FAMU. Uh, lucky to be working at a great institution led by our president, Dr. Larry Robinson, and our, our athletic director, Courtney. Courtney Gauthier and his staff. So we're excited to be here. We appreciate the Braves for inviting us. Um, my background, uh, played at college baseball at uh, Florida State University, was an eighth round pitcher out of Florida State, and uh, played four years of minor league baseball with the Astros organization. Uh, came back and started coaching at Florida State. I was a recruiting coordinator and pitching coach for 21 seasons at Florida State. And then was lucky enough to get the head coaching job at FAMU. And as I said, this is my eighth season at FAMU. I also worked with USA Baseball, 18 under national team. Uh, Three years, three gold medals with them, so very excited about that as well. That's an extensive background. Walk through with us. We know it's about preparation, scouting reports, things along those lines. Describe how you prepared your players, especially playing in basically, you know, a professional ballpark. Yeah, we've we've been lucky to play in some pretty good venues. Uh, we just left Florida last weekend. They've got a whatever million dollar facility they just built there. Not quite what this is, but certainly a good venue. We've played uh, in Fenway Park, believe it or not, uh, back in 2015. Uh, played in Pawtucket, the AAA field as well. So we've been blessed to play in some great venues in the past. Uh, but this is certainly exciting. Uh, you know, anytime you have a chance to play in a AAA facility, uh, with the, you know, you just want to make sure your guys are focused on the game once the game starts. Come out, get their pictures taken, enjoy the environment and get used to it and get acclimated so that we can go out and play comfortably and play relaxed and enjoy the game of baseball. That's what we're hoping to do tonight. Speaking of focus, what's one message that you're delivering to your team, especially, you know, for the tonight's, you know, weekend series yeah. opener? And obviously you want to come away with the series win. Well, somebody's going to get their first win tonight. So we know that <laughs> looking at the records, uh, we have played a very tough schedule. Um, you know, we, we played uh, we played Florida last weekend. We played Stetson, who was 10-0 at one point. Uh, we played South Florida, who beat Stetson when they were 10-0. All weekend series, we played Mercer on the way up here as well. Uh, what we're trying to get our guys is not to worry about the scoreboard, just worry about the way we play the game. Just play the game. Play the game the best you can. Don't worry about the score. Uh, play with effort and attitude, man. That's what we've been preaching since day one. Uh, it's been tough. Our guys are mentally beat up because of the caliber of schedule we've played. So, you know, it's our job as coaches to make sure they're focused. You used a word earlier when you were asking the question called preparation. And that's one thing we talk about, you know, prepare. Go through the process and making sure you're ready to play. And then, you know, in baseball, anything can happen. So uh, hopefully we'll be prepared. Hopefully we'll play loose and relaxed tonight. And again, not worry about anything other, not worry about the scoreboard, not worry about who's in the other dugout, but play the game. If we play that well enough, we'll give ourselves a chance to win. Uh, if we don't, we ain't gonna beat anybody. So that's just what we preach. That's what we preach since day one that I arrived here on campus. And hopefully it'll be good enough for a W. Uh, tonight and hopefully be able to win this series. I know we're playing a very tough comp uh, uh, caliber of team in Grambling. So. And it's also a look into the future for what we'll see next year because we're leaving the MEAC and going to the SWAC. So we'll see them you know, in, down the road as well. So excited about, again, being here and we appreciate the Braves inviting us. Let me ask you this, what makes this weekend so important, not only to the baseball program, but to the university? We're two weeks away from conference. You know, for us, that's that's our focus. Uh, and in everything we do, we call it three seasons, the, the non-conference schedule to begin the season. Then once we start conference play, it's all conference after that. And then hopefully the postseason, the, the MEAC tournament and hopefully a regional tournament. So again, this is all preparation. You use that word very well. Uh, preparing us hopefully for the uh, for the second season, which will be our conference season coming up in two weeks. And, and Grambling will be a great test to, test for us in terms of the caliber of play that they play is very similar to MEAC play. So this is, this is important for us to get going on the right foot. Okay, last question. And this is for players at different levels from Little League, um, you know, Babe Ruth to, uh, you know, high school level. And I know you've got a wealth of experience What's one takeaway you'd like, you know, to deliver to younger players and, you know, even coaches at different levels? You know, we've seen it all the time, and, and especially at, at, at schools that, are, that don't have all the bells and whistles that a lot of programs have. Uh, our facilities are getting better, but they're certainly not anywhere near the facilities of the teams that we've already played this season. Um, we give opportunities, you know, opportunities for guys to come in, 
and make a name for themselves. And, and anything can happen in the game of baseball, whether that's playing the game and who wins, or you know, it doesn't matter where you start. You know, if you're good enough, uh, you'll see Ralph Gar, who was a, 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 a hero of mine coming up. He used to go to Fulton County Stadium and see see Ralph Gar play along with Hank Aaron and Rico Cardi and and uh, uh, but Dusty Baker and all the greats. Um, Ralph Gar played at HBCU. You know, uh, anything can happen if you play the game well enough, and that's you know that's the message for our guys. It doesn't matter, you know, whether you're on scholarship or where you're not. What your program looks like, it matters how you play the game. Um, and that's what you know. That's what we try to. The mindset we try to prepare our guys with. No different this weekend. Uh, this is a re, you know. This is a possibility. Anything's a possibility in the game of baseball. It's a possibility for some of these guys in either dugout to end up playing Triple A. You know, in the Braves organization or on this field with another organization at some point. So, baseball is a great sport in that in that realm. It's anything's possible. You play the game well enough. There's a place for you in the game of baseball. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, thank you so much for taking and making the time, no you know, problem. taking time out from your pregame routine and everything. Mm -hmm. Best wishes today, this weekend, and for the season. Thank you. Thank you.